and hello YouTube, this is GS Mount Smart, and I'm going to tell you a brand new video for tutorials with GS. In today's tutorial, we're taking a look at a GIMP and how to create your own SIG or your own signature. If you're on forums, if you're on any online boards, or if you are into making signatures for people or just for fun because you want to be a designer or whatnot, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to create one. This is one method of making one. There are several different ways on how you can create signatures. People have their own ways of making their own signatures. Uh, but the main thing is be creative with it, uh, work with different layer modes, work with different brushes, and you can make something pretty cool. Now, here I have a picture of an Assassin's Creed character, and we're going to be making a signature out of him. We're going to be using this as our central uh, figure. So we have that open as a separate image. What we're going to do is going to make a new image. So go to File, go to New, and we're going to make something maybe like 600 by 300. That tends to be a nice signature size. 400 by 200. I've seen 700 by 300, 700 by 400. A, you know, a size like that. It has to be, the width has to be larger than the height. And that's kind of what a signature looks like. And it's kind of like this. So what we're gonna go ahead and do uh, this is a this is a pretty old strategy. Uh, several people use this strategy. Uh, they basically grab their their subject here and they basically copy and paste it across the uh, canvas here to create a nice abstract background. So that's kind of the uh, method that we're using here, the approach. So we're gonna go ahead and go to our image here and we're gonna go ahead and copy this. So Control C to copy. Gonna press Control V to paste. Go ahead and make it a new layer by clicking the button at the bottom left corner here. That will create a new layer. And we're gonna go ahead and scale this down so that's not so big. Uh, that looks maybe a bit bigger. That looks okay. And what you're gonna do is just kind of fill, cover up the entire canvas here. And you can just duplicate this. You can make a bunch of duplicates here because you're going to need quite a few of them. So don't be afraid to make 10, 11 duplicates like I'm doing right now. Just right click the layer, make a duplicate, and you should be good. And all you're going to do is just move it slightly to the right and continue doing this until your entire image is filled up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blur this and add some noise so that it actually looks like we have a nice abstract background. I think that's it, right? Oh, there's one more. Where can we stick this one? I guess we could stick it here and move all of these over a bit. You do want to have as less white space as possible, but sometimes you can't uh, accomplish that. I'll show you how to fix this though with the with the uh, smudge tool. So just like that, we have the entire canvas being covered. Now what we want to do is go ahead and merge all these down so you have one layer. Don't merge it down to the background layer. Just merge it down so you have your background layer and you have this as one layer. Then go ahead and go up to filters, go to blur, go to Gaussian, Gaussian blur. And we're going to bump this up to about 15 perhaps. Uh, depending how big your image is, you may want to boost this up to 20 or so until we have this nice blur. We're going to go up to filters again and go to noise. Where is noise at? Here's noise. Pick. And we can play around with these settings just a bit. Find something like this perhaps. Press OK. And that will generate some noise. And then we're, once again, we're going to go to filters again. Blur. Gaussian blur. And another 15 and you can continue to do this over and over until you have a nice looking product just keep on going to noise pick and continue to add the same effect and then again blur Gaussian blur and just apply it again until you have something like this now if you have some white areas at the top you can use your smudge tool here and you can increase your brush size and just slightly we can Go ahead and smudge out these white areas here a bit, like so. It doesn't need to be perfect. You don't need to smudge every white area. I'll just have it sort of be subtle like that. And from here on, uh, if you want, you can you know smudge down here a bit more to make it look more uh, natural and not so artificial. Just uh, you know smudge this around a bit. Don't be afraid to get creative. 
because that's what making a signature is all about, being creative. So something like that. Next we're gonna do is create a new layer. Press OK. Go up to Filters, go to Artistic, then go to GIMP, Gimpressionist right here. And you're gonna go ahead and pick Ballpark. Click Update here. In fact, uh, whenever you do this, you want to Oh, I think we have to add a white. We have to add a white background first. That's why that didn't go. So after you make your new layer, make sure you add a white background like that. So you should have your white background. You should have uh, this right here with your smudge work. And you should have another white background. And then on top of here, you want to go to filters, go to artistic, uh, the GIMP option, and then go ahead and press ballpark, update, and there you go. Now, uh, in here, you want to sort of play around with these settings, uh, but essentially, you want to use the ball here and you want to have these circles here but what you want to do is have a lot of these so try to get some pretty big ones you don't want to get two big ones but fiddle around with a lot of these settings until you get a nice looking one uh, lots of different settings here you can play with I'm gonna press ok and that looks that looks, that looks fine that looks good Next thing we're going to do is go to Filters again, go to Blur, and go to Motion Blur right here. Make the angle around 125 to 150. You want it to go sideways, diagonally. The length, I like putting it up to maximum, like so. Go ahead and press OK, and we get this. So once we have that, we're going to go to the Layer Mode here and set this to Overlay, like so. And so we have this nice, you can tell the difference, we have this nice abstract overlay here where we see motion blur going on. That's what we want. The next thing we want to do is create another new layer and press OK. Make sure it's transparent again. And find a brush that looks kind of artistic. I like using... You can use a lot of these weird ones that look kind of like that. Um, some of these GIMP does have as default brushes, so... Or something like that even just try to try to find one of these abstract -y looking ones something like that and what your goal is to do is just to cover the image up uh, don't brush like that but just try to make stamps stamp it out stamp over your like that make some stamps over your image like so until it looks something like that I'm gonna go up to colorize colors colorize and sort of make it a matching color now I believe we do have to, there we go, bring the lightness down if you're using a white brush and then your saturation is basically how dark or light you want it to be and your hues, your color. I want to have sort of a dark red going on because that's what a lot of the color in the background does look like. So maybe something like that perhaps. You can tell there's a lot of uh, dark reds going on here so put this dark red here. And at this point you want to set this top layer here to overlay. So again your layer modes, overlay, and it looks pretty cool. Here's the original, here's with our ballpark, and here's with our uh, brush over, it looks pretty cool. Now next thing we wanna do is basically do the exact same thing, but with a different color. So let's go ahead and duplicate uh, both of these. So duplicate your ballpark here, so duplicate that, and move that to the top. And then duplicate your red here again, and duplicate that, move it to the top. But this time, instead of red, pick another color. So, so pick another color, go up to colors, colorize, and perhaps we want to pick a sort of, uh, maybe a yellowish. Let's try to get the saturation. Maybe like a yellow, orange, something like that, perhaps. That looks cool. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and merge your ballpark layer and the last layer, these two layers, let me show you. This layer, your new colorized brush layer and your ballpark layer, this one right here. Go ahead and merge these two down like so and set the opacity to about 50 or 60 like so and you should have a cool effect like that. And you know, this is all up to your preference. If you'd rather have a signature with this background or rather have a signature with this background, I prefer this one. It looks, it looks a bit more artistic. Uh, but it's, it all depends up to you. You know, what, what type of colors you want, what type of brushes you want. You can use different strokes. You can use different brushes. You can use different colors. You can use, uh, you know, different uh, sized balls in your ballpark. You can use different type of motion blur. 
uh, try to customize it to the way you like it. Play around with the settings that we're using here. And after that, we're gonna go back to our render here. Go ahead and copy it again, paste it again, make it in layer again, and just go ahead and bring it down. Uh, size it to the way that you want. I think we'll size it like that. Uh, I kind of want to have his arms showing, so perhaps let's size it a bit more down like so. Scale it, and there we go, something like that. And to center this, we're going to go ahead and grab our alignment tool here, and we're going to center it like so. And maybe, do you want to bring this down a bit more? No, I think that's okay. Just like that. And then we're going to go with this layer here, we're going to go to layer modes and select screen. Screen like so. But what you can also do is go to colors, colorize, and colorize this to match. Uh, you can either you can either leave it like this, which is fine, right? You can leave it like that, which is which is fine, or you can colorize it to match the background. So we can, oops, go up to colors, colorize, and we can perhaps pick a, a dark red again if we wanted to, something like that, and have something like that maybe so you could do something like this but I kind of like having the natural colors like that so you can sort of recognize who it is so you could do that and then the last thing you want to do is obviously add some text so we're gonna go ahead and make our black text here and we're gonna type in so GS Mama smart here we have our text uh, we obviously want to make this bigger so let's go ahead and highlight this make it size 20 size 30 maybe uh, actually size 25 that should be okay size 25 and we want a different font so let's go ahead and go find our fonts here let's just scroll through some of these but we have to have our text selected like so there we go and try to find a nice font that fits uh, maybe something like maybe something like I don't know so it's uh, finding the right font can be kind of annoying sometimes. Let's just pick this one for the heck of it. And what you can then do is, if you wanted to position it somewhere, you could. I'm just gonna leave it here. And then what you can also do is uh, mess around with the layer modes. So here you can either pick something like uh, multiply. Zoom in here. You could use multiply. You could use uh, s yeah. Screen doesn't work here. You could use uh, soft light, perhaps. You can also use overlay. Overlay is really good as well. See, overlay is really nice. But essentially, that's how you make a signature. Pretty simple, pretty easy. If you follow these steps, you can probably make very similar uh, signatures like these. Uh, there are several other ways to make signatures, but I found this one to be really neat and easy for beginners. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. Lots of other tutorials on the channel. Lots of other GIMP tutorials, design tutorials, video editing tutorials, lots of other software tutorials. Any questions or comments, leave in the comments section down below. I'll definitely be down there answering any questions you have. And you can also donate a dollar to my Patreon page if you want to do that. Anything as low as that, very helpful, very much appreciated. All you got to do is click the card in the top right-hand corner of the screen. And it'll bring you to the page. I also have a gaming channel, advice channel, vlogging channel, and a music channel. You want to check those out. Links in the description as well as on the end card. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. And this is GSM Smart. And I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.